is off, I guess, at this point. Oh, wow. look at that. Look at that. That is just stunning. That's great memory it is. Oh, my God. It's just the most spectacular thing I've ever seen in my life. The universe is about to talk to us. That's right. With a total solar eclipse. Something terrifying happened after the eclipse. On April 8th, 2024, the world witnessed a celestial show like never before. The rare occurrence of a total solar eclipse. But amidst the wonder and awe of this cosmic spectacle, something dark and ominous was brewing. As people gazed upward, mesmerized by the celestial ballet unfolding before their eyes, little did they know they were about to witness a chilling event that would haunt their memories forever. What spine-tingling occurrence happened during this once-in-a-lifetime eclipse, and what is going to happen after this eclipse as suggested by Native American Navajos? Join us on a thrilling journey as we uncover the shocking events that unfolded during the solar eclipse of April 8, 2024. It was a once-in-a-lifetime celestial spectacle. The Great North American Eclipse swept across parts of Mexico, the United States, and Canada, casting a temporary shadow over the daytime sky. Astronomers and enthusiasts alike were buzzing with anticipation for this extraordinary event, eagerly awaiting its arrival. But amidst the excitement, experts were also busy making sure everyone stayed safe, issuing important safety guidelines. This awe-inspiring eclipse, sparked by the moon slipping perfectly between the earth and the sun, created a surreal scene as daylight turned into an eerie twilight. It all kicked off in Mexico around 11.07 a.m. PDT, then journeyed across the continent, reaching the Pacific coast before crossing into Texas around 1.27 p.m. CDT. The path of totality, where the sun was completely obscured, cut through states like Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Missouri, treating onlookers to varying durations of total darkness as it made its grand journey across the land. Each location was captivated by the mesmerizing display, leaving observers in awe of the wonders of the cosmos. People in Nazas, Durango, Mexico, and Cavill in Fredericksburg, Texas, got front row seats to an incredible sight, a total solar eclipse that plunged them into darkness for about five minutes. While folks across North America caught a glimpse of the eclipse, only those with a narrow 100 to 125 mile stretch witnessed the full spectacle. This rare celestial event drew millions of eclipse enthusiasts to prime viewing spots along the path. From bustling cities to remote corners, everyone geared up for the influx of visitors eager to witness the eerie darkness. With anticipation building, authorities worked tirelessly to tackle the logistical challenges that came with such a massive event. Warnings and advisories were issued to address potential issues, including the looming threat of traffic jams as eclipse enthusiasts hit the roads to reach the narrow path of totality. The concern was particularly pronounced in rural areas with less developed infrastructure, where highways and streets risk becoming gridlocked. In areas where narrow two-lane highways are the norm, the sudden influx of cars during events like eclipses can turn roads into parking lots, causing headaches for emergency responders trying to navigate through the gridlock. To help folks prepare, state and local authorities urged everyone to plan ahead by stocking up on essentials like food, water, gas, and medications ahead of time. This way, they could avoid last-minute trips that might strain local stores unaccustomed to such sudden rushes. In Lorraine County, Ohio, officials sounded the alarm about the eclipse-triggered demand, warning of shortages in food and gas. Beyond just traffic concerns, they were also bracing for the strain on emergency services and hospitals. With large crowds come more accidents and medical issues, which could easily overwhelm rural health care facilities. When it came to managing the chaos of the eclipse, some places took proactive measures by beefing up medical staff and resources in key areas along the eclipse path. The goal? To be prepared for any potential emergencies that might pop up but that wasn't the only concern on everyone's minds. With droves of people trying to call, text, and flood social media with eclipse updates all at once, cell towers were pushed to their limits. This not only made it tricky for folks to stay connected with loved ones, but also raised concerns about reaching emergency services if needed. Schools found themselves in a tough spot too. Should they stay open and turn the eclipse into a learning opportunity, or shut down for the day? While the eclipse offered a unique chance for education, safety had to come first. 
Many schools opted to close their doors, fearing traffic snarls and the risks of kids hurting their eyes by sneaking a peek at the eclipse without proper eye protection. As the Great North American Eclipse of 2024 approached, officials were on a mission to prepare their communities for the big event. Their goal? To ease the strain on local services and ensure that families could enjoy the eclipse safely together. And it wasn't just humans they were thinking about. Even our furry friends got some special attention. With the sudden darkness potentially freaking out pets, experts suggested keeping them indoors and comfy during the eclipse, stocking up on pet supplies beforehand to avoid any last-minute chaos. As the countdown to April 8th ticked away, officials were hustling to get everyone prepped and psyched for the spectacle. They dished out advice, warned folks about what to expect, and urged everyone to stay safe and soak up the wonder of the moment. With careful planning, teamwork, and plenty of info, They were determined to make this eclipse an unforgettable experience for all. So if you were gearing up for the big day, heeding the advice from those in the know was definitely the way to go. Thanks to these careful precautions, folks were able to soak in every bit of the cosmic spectacle without a hint of worry. Among the most mesmerizing sights during the eclipse were the solar prominences, massive structures crafted from glowing plasma elegantly dancing above the sun's surface. As the moon slid perfectly into place, blocking out the sun's radiant glow and revealing its corona, these prominences emerged as towering pink structures and looping formations stretching out into the vastness of space. The appearance and behavior of these celestial marvels are intimately tied to the sun's magnetic activity following an 11-year cycle known as the solar cycle. As we approach the peak of this cycle, aptly named the solar maximum, the sun's magnetic field kicked into high gear becoming more intricate and active. This uptick in activity meant more frequent and grander prominences, turning the eclipse into a truly spectacular showcase of cosmic phenomena. But the show didn't stop there. The heightened magnetic activity also brought about an increase in sunspots, solar flares, and coronal mass ejections, adding an extra layer of dynamism to our favorite celestial body. Studying these prominences during an eclipse isn't just about admiring their beauty, it's a valuable opportunity for scientists to unravel the mysteries of the sun's magnetic field and its interactions with solar plasma. Studying these structures gives scientists valuable insights into the inner workings of solar activity and its impact on the wider heliosphere. For eclipse viewers, catching sight of these prominences was like witnessing the intricate and breathtaking events unfolding in the sun's outer atmosphere. And for some lucky observers, during a total solar eclipse, they were treated to a rare spectacle, coronal mass ejections. The colossal eruptions of magnetic field and plasma shoot out from the sun's corona, propelling billions of tons of solar material into space at incredible speeds. But CMEs aren't just a feast for the eyes, they also have a big role to play in shaping space weather. From messing with satellite operations to affecting communication and power systems here on Earth, they're a force to be reckoned with. Sometimes, these eruptions take on the appearance of massive, twisted spirals dancing high up in the solar atmosphere. And if a CME happens to coincide with a brief window of totality during an eclipse, lucky viewers with a clear view might just get to witness this rare and awe-inspiring sight. Despite their slow movement, these eruptions can last for hours, creating the illusion of standing still against the backdrop of space. During the April 8th eclipse, folks in different spots along the path of totality got a unique peek into the inner workings of solar explosions. While watching the eclipse, they also had the chance to catch a glimpse of solar flares, those powerful bursts of radiation that shoot out from the sun's surface. These babies emit all sort of electromagnetic radiation, from radio waves to gamma rays, and can zip over the earth in just 8 minutes flat. Now, Seeing a solar flare during the eclipse wasn't all that common, but they're closely linked to coronal mass ejections and prominences, which added an extra layer of excitement to the whole solar spectacle. Solar flares come in different flavors, with X-class flares being the big kahunas. Although February saw a wild week with three X-class flares popping off, the odds of catching one during the short window of a totality were pretty slim. Still, The chance to witness one of these intense bursts of solar energy, even if it was just for a hot second, served as a reminder of how wild and unpredictable our sun can be. Plus, 
Understanding the relationship between CMEs and solar flares sheds light on space weather, which can seriously mess with our tech down here on Earth. So not only was catching these events during the eclipse visually stunning, but it also gave us some juicy insights into what makes the sun tick. Understanding the behavior of CMEs and solar flares isn't just a hobby. It's crucial for predicting space weather and minimizing their impact on Earth. But during a total solar eclipse, when the moon completely blocks out the sun, astronomers faced a unique challenge. The brief moment of totality, when the sun's bright face disappears, offered a rare opportunity to study the sun's corona and other phenomena. However, with such a short window, spotting fast-moving solar events like CMEs and flares required impeccable timing and teamwork. To tackle this dilemma and extend observation time, scientists devised some ingenious solutions. One standout effort was the Citizen Continental America Telescopic Eclipse 2024 project. This ambitious endeavor aimed to capture a continuous, detailed view of the sun's corona by deploying numerous observers equipped with special cameras and telescopes across the continent. By capturing images of the corona from various locations, researchers could stitch together a more comprehensive understanding of solar activity. The Kate 2024 project is on a mission to capture the sun's corona in polarized light and turn it into a mesmerizing 60-minute movie. This ambitious endeavor promises to unveil thrilling new insights into the sun's outer atmosphere, but with such a grand spectacle on the horizon, safety was a top priority during the eclipse. While it was safe to gaze upon the corona without protective glasses during totality, caution was urged for the moments leading up to and following this phase. Experts stressed the importance of using proper solar eclipse glasses or telescopes with solar filters to shield the eyes from the sun's harmful rays. As the eclipse drew near, educating the public about safe viewing practices became paramount. Enthusiasm was palpable for the 2024 total solar eclipse, not only for the breathtaking display of the corona, but also for the potential scientific breakthroughs it could unlock. From amateur stargazers to seasoned researchers, everyone was banding together to delve deeper into the sun's intricate and ever-changing nature. By harnessing data collected during the eclipse, scientists aim to unravel the mysteries of solar activity and its impact on space weather. While both the Great North American Eclipse of 2024 and the Great American Eclipse of 2017 offer dazzling displays visible from the United States, the recent 2024 event boasted unique characteristics that captivated astronomers, eclipse aficionados, and casual observers alike. One difference between the two eclipses boils down to timing and how they fit into the sun's natural rhythm. You see, the sun operates on this 11-year cycle of activity, swinging between busy times and slower periods. Back in 2017, we caught the eclipse as the sun was winding down into its quieter phase, known as solar minimum. That meant fewer solar flares and calmer activity overall. Sure, we still got to see that breathtaking corona, but things were relatively chill, with most of the action happening around the sun's equator. Now fast forward to 2024, and we're smack dab in the middle of the sun's lively phase, aka solar maximum. This is when things get really interesting. The sun's magnetic field gets all twisty and turbulent, putting on a show in the sky. With all that extra activity, the corona during the 2024 eclipse was even brighter and more dazzling, with streamers likely visible all over. And if you were really lucky, you might have caught sight of one of those epic coronal mass ejections, where the sun spits out a massive burst of solar material. But that's not all. The moon itself played a role too. You see, its orbit around the Earth isn't a perfect circle, so its distance from us changes over time. During the 2017 eclipse, the moon was a bit further away, but come 2024, it was a bit closer, making it appear about 5.5% larger in the sky. And that extra closeness meant we got treated to a longer period of totality, a whopping 4 minutes and 28 seconds near the town of Nazas, Durango, Mexico. During the 2024 eclipse, sky watchers in places like Toron, Kahua, and across the United States and Canada were treated to an incredible sight. Totality that lasted well beyond three minutes, with some lucky spots basking in over four minutes of daytime darkness. This extra time gave folks a chance to really soak in the celestial spectacle, letting them fully appreciate the wonder of it all. 
But that's not all that set the 2024 eclipse apart from its 2017 counterpart. The path of totality for this latest event was wider, stretching between 108 and 122 miles, compared to the 2017 eclipse, which ranged from about 62 to 71 miles wide. This broader path meant that more folks got to witness the magic firsthand. In fact, while around 12 million Americans lived within the path of totality in 2017, a whopping 31.6 million folks were already living there for the 2024 eclipse, not to mention all the visitors who flocked to catch a glimpse. With the eclipse crossing through 13 U.S. states, including big cities like Dallas, Texas, and Cleveland, Ohio, as well as countless smaller towns and communities, it was truly a celestial event for the masses. With the 2024 total solar eclipse, more folks got to experience the awe-inspiring beauty of this celestial event without trekking halfway across the country. Unlike the 2017 eclipse, this one took a different route, starting in Mexico, cutting through the heart of the United States, and wrapping up in Canada's maritime provinces. This unique path brought together people from three different countries to marvel at the cosmic spectacle. What's even cooler is that the 2024 eclipse's path crossed the 2017 one down in southern Illinois near Carbondale. This spot, dubbed the Eclipse Crossroads, covered a whopping 9,000 square miles. It was like a double dose of celestial magic, giving folks the chance to witness two total solar eclipses in just seven years. Cities like Carbondale, Cape Girardeau and Paducah were smack dab in the middle of all the action, drawing stargazers from every corner of the globe. The 2024 eclipse wasn't just any ordinary celestial event. It marked a significant leap forward in both scientific exploration and public fascination. Since the last eclipse in 2017, there have been major strides in technology, including the launch of cutting-edge solar observation spacecraft like NASA's Parker Solar Probe and the European Space Agency's Solar Orbiter. These high-tech missions provided scientists with unprecedented insights into the sun's behavior and inner workings. Complementing the ground-based observations during the 2024 eclipse and giving researchers a multi-dimensional view of the event. But it's not just scientists who were buzzing with excitement. The 2017 eclipse ignited a newfound interest in astronomy and science education among the public, and that enthusiasm only grew leading up to the 2024 event. Organizations and schools pulled out all the stops planning outreach programs, workshops, and events to get students, teachers, and folks from all walks of life involved in wonders of scientific discovery. The goal? To spark curiosity, inspire future scientists, and create a whole new generation of eclipse enthusiasts. And as the anticipation for the great North American eclipse of 2024 reached fever pitch, it was clear that the excitement was only just beginning to build. An exceptional blend of elements, from the sun's heightened activity to the moon's seemingly expanded presence, alongside the extended duration of totality and a wider, more accessible path, rendered this eclipse an unmissable phenomenon for countless individuals throughout North America. Solar eclipses have captivated mankind for ages, evoking a blend of awe, trepidation, and fascination. These mesmerizing occurrences unfold when the moon maneuvers between the earth and the sun, casting its shadow upon our planet and orchestrating a breathtaking spectacle in the heavens. The alignment of the sun, moon, and earth has left an indelible mark on human history, igniting ongoing scientific exploration. Delving into the science behind solar eclipses unveils a captivating ballet of celestial mechanics and serendipitous cosmic events. To witness such a spectacle, the moon must be in its new phase, strategically poised to obscure the sun. However, due to the moon's tilted orbit, these celestial wonders aren't a monthly affair, but rather manifest in seasonal intervals, approximately every six months when lunar and terrestrial orbits intersect along Earth's orbital plane. The type of solar eclipse witness hinges on the precise alignment of the sun, moon, and Earth. During total solar eclipses, the moon completely obscures the sun, casting its shadow upon our planet. Annular eclipses, on the other hand, occur when the moon is at its furthest point from the Earth, resulting in a striking ring of fire encircling the sun. Partial eclipses occur when the alignment is slightly off, allowing only a portion of the sun to be obscured. What sets total solar eclipses apart is the near-perfect match in apparent size between the moon and the sun, enabling the moon to completely block out the sun's disk and unveil its otherworldly corona. 
However, this celestial synchrony is fleeting, as the moon gradually drifts away from Earth, rendering total solar eclipses increasingly rare and eventually vanishing altogether in approximately 600 million years. Throughout history, solar eclipses have inspired a blend of wonder and trepidation. Throughout ancient times, civilizations often attributed these occurrences to divine intervention or ominous portents. For example, in ancient China, the populace believed that a celestial dragon devoured the sun during an eclipse, while the ancient Greeks interpreted the sun's disappearance as a sign of divine displeasure, foreshadowing impending misfortune. However, as humanity's understanding of the cosmos deepened, we began to recognize the scientific significance of eclipses. A pivotal moment occurred in 1919 when scientists observed a remarkable phenomenon during a total solar eclipse, the apparent displacement of stars near the sun. This groundbreaking observation lent support to Einstein's theory of gravity's ability to bend light. Solar eclipses have also proven instrumental in advancing our comprehension of the sun. When the moon obscures the sun completely, scientists gain a rare opportunity to investigate elusive components of the sun's atmosphere, such as the corona, chromosphere, and solar prominences, which are typically obscured by the sun's brilliance. What are your reflections on the extraordinary events witnessed during the solar eclipse? Share your insights in the comments below.